Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Are you ready for my largest Dollar Tree haul ever? Today, I picked up things for a first birthday party, back to school, some organizing projects, and lots of fun activities and toys. So stay tuned and I will share it all with you. The Family Fudge, the Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Now my youngest child is having his first birthday party tomorrow, so I picked up a lot of birthday items. So we are having a Mickey birthday. So these are actually placemats that I picked up to go on our tables, and each one has Mickey on the front and is actually plain on the back, so they definitely could color these as well. And each pack came with 12, so I picked up two of those. Next, I picked up two packages of these cupcake liners with a Mickey on them, of course, and each one of these has 18 plus these cute little character picks. For my cupcakes, I picked up two cupcake stands, and I was really surprised to find these for just a dollar, because at Walmart, these are like three or four dollars. I got two packages of Mickey Mouse napkins, two Mickey Mouse gift bags, and these are such a good deal at the Dollar Tree. Literally the same exact bag at Walmart would be $3 or more. And then these guys, I picked up six of them. I'm gonna have these at the party for the older kids that are gonna be there so that they can have a fun activity while they're at my house. And this is like a velvet picture or a poster really and it comes with markers. So I got six of those. It's a really fun, cheap activity for a birthday party. And they get to take it home when they're done. I also picked up two of these star-shaped platters to go on our buffet. I'm gonna be serving hot dogs and hamburgers and lots of condiments. So these are perfect for that. And I also think that this star shape would be good for 4th of July or since it's red, I think even Christmas it might work. And then I picked up these little snack boxes, but I'm actually not gonna put snacks in them. I'm gonna turn these into some centerpieces. I have some craft foam from the Dollar Tree and some yellow carnations. So I'm gonna actually make these like a little vase with a little flower inside and I'll have a really fun, cheap centerpiece for all of the tables. And then when the party's over, I can toss this and use these flowers to decorate somewhere else in my house. For my plates, I just picked up these guys, and you can probably tell how I'm gonna display them on my buffet. Isn't that cute? So we have a dinner plate and a dessert size. I also picked up four red tablecloths. Now these aren't the best quality, but for just a dollar, they're pretty good. And then I got lots of these guys. We have some big pom-pom type of things and some smaller garland ones. And you can tell the theme here, I've got Mickey Mouse colors. So we have red and white and red with, with some yellow and another white and another red. So I'm gonna use these to decorate our party space. And then these guys, I think these are totally underrated these days. You can use crepe paper in so many places in so many different ways to decorate. And it's really cheap. I also picked up one bag of these Mickey Mouse balloons. And then these aren't Mickey Mouse themed exactly, but I thought the kids at the party would really think that they were funny, so I'm gonna give these out. And then for the party, I picked up several serving dishes. And I really like the white ones because I know I can use them for other parties in the future. I think white is always classic, goes with everything. So I picked up two of these little separated trays and I'm gonna put things like onions and pickles and cheese, things for topping our burgers and hot dogs. And then I got two of these really cute sort of wavy bowls and this one's gonna have tortilla chips and then this one will have just regular potato chips. And then these guys are meant to go in the, the microwave, although I'm not gonna use them for that at all. I do like that they have a lid so that I can take them to like a potluck or something like that. But it's basically just like a little plastic bowl. So in this one, I'm gonna have my salsa. And in this one, I'm going to put my jalapeno artichoke dip. Have you guys tried that one from Costco? It is so good. So yes, these will both be for dips. And then if there's any left over after the party, I can just put the lid back on and stick it in the fridge. And then lastly for the birthday party, I picked up 10 Mickey Mouse balloons. 
but you guys, I'm really kind of bummed because two of the balloons are already deflating and the party's not till tomorrow. Oh well. And now on to the organizing items. I just love this new purple color. And all of these items are actually gonna go into my office closet. I'm gonna organize inside some drawers, and also I have this new rolling cart that I got from Target, so I'm gonna use some of these items to organize that as well. The first bin I picked up is like this little square basket, and you actually get two for a dollar, and these are so cute. They actually have a little metal handle on each basket. And then these guys also, you get two for a dollar, and I picked up four of them, so eight total, and these are perfect to corral pens and other office supplies. And then these guys, I picked up two of the sort of long rectangular ones, and two of these larger sized. And then these guys, you, I picked up, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of these white square baskets. And these are the larger size baskets. And you guys, I think this may be my favorite organizing bin from the Dollar Tree. They're really large. They're pretty cute, they're very sturdy, and they fit perfectly in the laundry room, under the sink, in so many places. The store had nine, and I bought all nine. And now on to this sort of educational slash back to school items. The first thing I picked up is this really cute clipboard. It's not super sturdy, but I, I really love the colors and the flowers and the sayings. So I'm definitely gonna be using this because in my family, I'm the teacher. So I definitely could use a clipboard. And then I picked up these guys. These are gonna be primarily for my preschooler. And let's see, it's kind of a match and learn puzzle. We have what goes together. So here we have a seed and a plant and then a caterpillar and a butterfly, that sort of thing. And then this one is match and learn first words. And I totally think that she could do this. She's actually a really good reader. And then this one is colors and shapes. And then this one is counting and numbers. And then these guys. This was one of the most exciting finds of the day. I love this paint set. It comes on a really sturdy plastic palette that the kids can actually hold as they're painting. You get a lot of colors and they're really big. And it comes with a brush. So I have three kids that are gonna be using these. So I actually got, you know, two sets because I know that we're gonna have a lot of opportunities to use these this school year. And then another art project item, we got six of these little paint palettes in a pack for only a dollar, that is a really good deal. These are the same ones you can get at Michael's for a lot more. And then to go with those things, I picked up two packs of these brushes. Now these aren't the best quality brushes, but for my kids who are seven and under, they'll be just fine. For my preschooler, I picked up a new pair of scissors, and I really like these ones because it has the lift assist, which makes it a little bit easier for beginners. I was really excited to find these guys. I know my preschooler is gonna be really excited to see these. I got two of these kid jumbo tweezers, and these are really great for fine motor skill type activities, sorting, counting, that sort of thing. They're perfect for picking up things like pom-poms and other small things. And then these things are kind of for the teacher. I got a mini stapler. I really like the purple color. And for just a dollar, it comes with 500 staples, which is a super good deal. And then I have my magnetic clips. Now in our homeschool room, we have a huge magnetic whiteboard. So this will be perfect for pinning up papers and assignments, things like that. So we have a purple, a pink, and a green because in our family, our kids are kind of color-coded. Things that are Mackenzie's are usually pink, things that belong to Lily are usually purple, and things that belong to Jackson are usually green. Now, in a couple years, hopefully I can find some blue ones because blue is Griffin's color. Next, I have some raffle tickets, which seems kind of random for a school item, but we're gonna try a new incentive program in our homeschool this year, and I'm going to actually give the kids tickets when they finish certain assignments and just sort of a reward incentive system. I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet. I have some toys and prizes in mind that I'll show you in a minute, but yes, that's what these tickets are for. 
And then here are the last two things in that category. My son Jackson was with me when I was shopping and he was really excited to see these. So we have two sets of cones, there's three sets, three sets of cones and you get two for a dollar. And then we got these baseball base sets. These will be really fun for playing outdoor activities, sort of PE type classes. Now my kids actually do go to a structured PE class at a local um, gymnastics center, but this will just be fun for running off some energy in the day. Now before I show you the toys and activities, I'm gonna show you sort of the random miscellaneous category. I picked up two of these swim goggles because we swim just about every day. So I have one for Jackson and one for Mackenzie. And then I also picked up a thing of ribbon for an upcoming craft project. Two rolls of tape for birthday present wrapping. A package of mini glue sticks for my hot glue gun. And then a new one of these bowls because the one that I had sadly <laughs> was broken, but it was just a dollar so it wasn't too bad. But I replaced it because it's a really nice bowl actually. Perfect for pouring things. And lastly, we have toys and activities. Now some of these things are gonna be used as prizes and incentives in our homeschool. And other items I'm gonna to give to my kids to unbox on their YouTube channel. Now this year in our homeschool, I'm adding a preschooler. I also have a kindergartner. So I wanted to have some things on hand that they could work on while I help my oldest child with her school because it's a little bit more involved. So I picked up some of these create a scene sticker sets. So this is basically just a scene that comes with stickers and the kids can put them on however they want. Just a really fun sort of cheap activity for them to do. So I have two of the farm sets, two of the dinosaur sets, one of this sort of race car theme, and this one is my favorite, which is the bake shop. And then these guys, I really love these from the Dollar Tree. These are the house decorating kits. This one is the Glam House. I don't know if you can see here, but it's basically a cardboard house, like a little doll house actually, but it comes with the people and the furniture and the kids can build it, it's really cute. So this is the glam house. This one is the pet shop, look how cute that is. This one is the princess palace. And then this one is the car shop. So I could definitely see Lily and Jackson working on these while Kenzie and I do math. Next up, I have these pop-out grab bags, which I actually had never seen before, but are really cool, especially for a dollar. This looks like a legitimate toy that you'd find for like $5 at Target. But basically, this is a color pop-out play set. It comes with two coloring boards. So this is like a plastic board that the kids can color, and then it's actually gonna become like a shape. They can punch it out and put it on a little stand is interesting. So this one's Peppa Pig, and then we have My Little Pony, and then this one is Blaze. So yeah, they just color them, pop them out, put them on the stand, and then, I don't know, maybe they can use them as decoration or something like that. Pretty good for just a dollar. And then sort of a random puzzle. This one is the Elena of Avalor, which all of my kids love. And then Jackson picked out this yo-yo. So again, these things will be perfect for, you know, incentives. If the kids earn so many tickets for work that they've completed, then they can use those tickets to get prizes like this. And I don't mind giving my kids incentives because I know I like incentives to get work done. Don't you guys? And then these guys, I have no idea if they're going to work, but they just looked really interesting. It's it's claiming that this little critter is gonna grow up to 600%. So basically you submerge it in a large container of room temperature water and over the next couple of days, it's supposed to grow. So we have this little crocodile and then a snake and this sort of lizard creature. So I have no idea if they're gonna work, but just for a dollar, I thought it'd be fun to see. And then lastly, we have some blind bags. I was really surprised to find these at the Dollar Tree because normally you only find these at Target, Walmart, 
Toys R Us, and usually they're $3 or more. So I know Mackenzie and maybe Lily will have a lot of fun unboxing these on their YouTube channel. Which is not ready, you guys, yet. When it is, I'll let you know. We're still working on making videos. Okay guys, that is all for my super massive, huge Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Dollar Tree items are. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.